Speaking of imbeciles, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Colin Kaepernick has <laughs> yeah. now accused yet another group of individuals of perpetuating racism. <laughs> his parents. Yeah, his, appar- his parents, his white parents who adopted him, by the way. <laughs> gave him the life that he has to yep. go and pursue his dreams. Well, and- that's how racist they are. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, well, they adopted him. So that they could oh. teach him the white way. I see. That's what they did. <laughs> Idious people. Right. To promote his new graphic novel, Change the Game, Kaepernick sat down for an interview interview with CBS. Mm. Uh, Gosh, I got to get that book. Change yeah. the Game. Plus, like Obama, he's mixed race. He's half black, half white. But when that happens, you don't acknowledge ever that you're half white. Mm-hmm. It's just not part of you anymore, I guess, which is interesting because if it were the other way around, that would be considered racist. But mm, it's not, of course, and we all know it. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. He said, I know my parents loved me, <clears throat> but there were still very problematic things that I went through. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Tell us about your tragic life, Colin. Oh, no. To demonstrate just how problematic his upbring- upbringing right. was. Here we go. They, they probably <clears throat> called him uh, uh, racial epithets, right? Sure. They probably just well, just just tried to uh, just beat the black right out of him. Is that what happened in his childhood? Well, listen, to, worse than that. Oh, yeah, no. Listen to this. Okay, let's see. Kaepernick's now 35, and he cited a disagreement <clears throat> he had with his parents while he was still a teenager. Okay. He claimed he wanted to wear his hair in cornrows to emulate the style of his idol, NBA star Allen Iverson. Oh. But his mom okay. supposedly objected to that. Oh, no. What reason could there be other than racism I, and that she hated her black son? That's all I can come up with myself. According to his novel, uh, said to be autobiographical, when she heard how Colin wanted to style his hair, Teresa Kaepernick angrily replied... He's getting what roles? <laughs> oh, like a boomer would say. <laughs> what What are you getting now? You're getting the what roles? <laughs> okay. Could there be a more racist question than that? Is that so? There's more to the quote, right? Surely. No. Wait. Huh? That's about it. Other accounts indicate that she simply just stated that such a hairstyle was quote not professional unquote, and that it made him look like a little thug. Now, oh boy. <laughs> Now you're getting into territory. Oh, now you can't. You oh, you got you found mm-hmm. a word we can't use. No, mm-hmm. no. He explained to CBS that such differences of opinion were actually evidence of racism. Oh, shut up, you! What an ingrate! What I, a I, putrid little victim! Disown his ass. That's what these parents need to do. Get out of my life. The guy has made tens of millions of dollars. He continues to make it from Nike, and. Based on what? Why? You're going to call me the person who who chose you. Yeah, right. Raised you, loved yeah. you, provided for you. Mm-hmm. You're going to write in a book that I'm a racist? Get out of my life. Wow. Oh, screw you, That'd man. That'd be really hard to take, wouldn't it? Oh, Bro. man. I think it was important to show that, no, this can happen in your own home oh. and how we move forward collectively while addressing the racism that is being perpetuated. Yeah, I bet his parents are so happy to be reading what he has to say about him. What an ungrateful uh, douchebag. Mm-hmm. He, now, of course, he hasn't been on an NFL roster for seven years. By choice. Why? <laughs> no. No. No, no, Keith. Not by choice? Racism. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I Racism. Apologize. I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> Racism. Yep. When he infamously began taking a knee, of course, during the national anthem, that if you didn't do that with him, that was also racism. He said, I'm not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. To me, this is, a, this is a bigger than football, and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way. There are bodies in the street and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. Meaning police, obviously. Just... Yeah, if you're, uh, mm. let's just remember how that played out. Um, the individual he's referring to is now behind bars, serving time for that crime. Mm-hmm. 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 The the guy who uh, killed George Floyd, right? Chauvin, 
Right? Right, yep. And that's what he's referring to? Uh, I assume. Okay, who knows? Who cares with this guy? Kaepernick has previously compared the NFL draft to slavery. <laughs> oh, no. Now, and you see that on the faces of those who are drafted by the NFL every single year. <laughs> <laughs> they get up there. At, what oh, is this? They're... Grin on their face? Oh, yeah. Shaking hands yeah. with the commissioner? Crying tears of joy yeah. like the slaves did? Yeah. Remember that? I remember the sure. Falcons drafted a guy who brought a, a portrait of his grandmother up there to say, you know, look, Ma, we did it. I got here. You know, because she had passed away, and and he wanted to honor her. Mm -hmm. Like, look at me. I'm a slave in the NFL now, (laughs) just like you wanted me to be. You dreamed this for me. I swear. A slave. Okay, they're paid millions, in some cases tens of millions, uh, to play a game they love. They are paid in one year more than the average American will earn in a lifetime. No question. Go away, Colin Kaepernick. This guy sucks on every level. He's also, last year he announced that he's paired with Spike Lee for another documentary oh, about his life. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Are you kidding me? we oh. got to suffer through another Colin Kaepernick oh, document? I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, That's good stuff right there. How much longer can this guy be a victim? How much longer? Uh, probably the rest of his life, I would assume. Hmm.